So last night I was watching uh, Sherlock Holmes, the second one, A Game of Shadows with Robert Downey Jr. And it got me thinking what sort of role I'd like to see him do um, post Marvel, you know, after Endgame. For a start off, I, I never thought I really liked the, uh, the Sherlock Holmes movies, but after watching the second one last night, I think it's the first time I've seen either one in full. And uh, after watching the second one last night in full, I've got a whole new appreciation for these movies and they're actually pretty good. If there's anyone out there who's like me who were kind of putting them off thinking they're not that good, um, I'd definitely go check them out. It's a little bit like uh, Shanghai Nights. I think that's why I, I was put off in first place because I grew up with Shanghai Nights and then when Sherlock Holmes come, like, comes about, it's kind of like a little bit of a, not a redo or anything like that, but it's the same sort of feel like uh, action adventure mixed with a little bit of comedy. But the uh, the Sherlock Holmes movie it was pretty good and I think there's a third one coming out, so I'll be looking forward to, to that when that comes out. But... More than anything, I, like I say, I was thinking what sort of movie would I like to see IDJ in after he's left the MCU. And it got me thinking, like, um, just off the top of my head, movies that I'd like to see him in is something a little more R-rated. You know, he's been doing the family-friendly thing for the past 10 years or so with Marvel. And at the beginning of his Marvel career, he also came out with uh, Tropic Thunder. And uh, that's an R-rated comedy. I'd like to see him go back to something like that. Or even something like, um, I was kind of thinking I'd like to see him in like the 70s gangster environment. I know they're bringing out a Scarface movie and um, he's probably not part of it. He's probably already like filming and stuff. But I could definitely see um, our DJ in, uh, in some sort of that sleazy 70s gangster sort of role. Not, it don't, wouldn't even have to be uh, Scarface. It could be anything, you know, or even something like a Goodfellas, you know, it, can you imagine if the next Martin Scorsese movie was starring um, Robert Downey Jr., how interesting that would be? And then uh, other direct, obviously there were loads of directors that he could work with that would be interesting, but for instance, uh, Quentin Tarantino is supposed to be doing 10 movies. He's got his ninth movie on the way, but can you imagine if the 10th movie was starring Robert Downey Jr.? And he doesn't have to be the lead in it, he doesn't have to be the main focus like he was in the MCU. He can play like a supporting role or even just like a cameo role. I'd like to see him do a bit more than a cameo role if he were going to be teaming up with like a Scorsese or a Tarantino, but I definitely want to see him start going into um, a little more, I'm going to say R-rated, but like more adult-orientated uh, films. I think that would be interesting. I mean, it could also stick around in the Marvel Universe through uh, like AI or something like that. You know, he can be the new Jarvis, as it were, or the new Friday. I mean, the guy can probably do anything, to be honest. He's probably still in there with the uh, the Disney family, so, like, uh, I could quite easily see him doing a Pixar movie and just being a voice, or, like, now that Disney's took on, um, bought Fox, it could be in, like, um, an Alien movie. And, like I say, I wouldn't want him to be the main guy, but could he be part of an ensemble cast in an Alien movie? Absolutely. I wouldn't mind seeing him in, even in, like, a horror movie, or, you know... Going back to the, the directors, uh, Robert Downey Jr. and anyone sounds pretty good, but like uh, working with James Wan or Ryan Coogler or, you know, there are a bunch of young directors that Robert Downey Jr. are working with, it'd be pretty good. I know he did the, the, um, in, the <clears throat> in the few, in the 10 years or so that he's done Iron Man, I know he brought out the film, um, like I say, I think he did the two um, Sherlock Holmes movies in the time that he did Iron Man. And he also brought out The Judge, which um, was a little... Well, I, I have never seen it myself, but from what I gather, it's a little slow and just no excitement to it, really. So if he wants to do something a little serious like that, when I look at The Judge, I see like a court case sort of film. So that makes me think of films like JFK, which uh, in the end, it turns out to be a court case film for like the last hour or so. But that's a film by Oliver Stone, you know, Robert Downey Jr. working with Oliver Stone on some sort of like a uh, serious sort of movie. That sounds good to me. Like I said, there are a bunch of movies and it was just watching uh, Sherlock Holmes last night that made me think I'm actually pretty interested in see what RDJ uh, does next post MCU. If there's any sort of movies that you think he'd be good in or any directors that you think he'd work well with, uh, let me know down in the comment section and uh, let's try to get a little discussion going on uh, what, what he should do next. I think these next five years are going to be pretty interesting. Or even the next ten years, you know, he spent the past ten years doing Marvel. Let's see what he spends the next ten years doing. I'm, uh, I'm excited to find out. But anyway, yeah, let me know what you think down below.